Welcome back to Edinburgh. Everywhere you look, there's a real sense of history about the place. And in this city tomorrow, Leicester Tigers are looking to add their names to the record books. Good evening. I'm in the best place possible right now. This is Abbey Park in Leicester, and we're here for the closing ceremony of the Special Olympics GB. Every seat here at the Walker Stadium should be sold out. And every Leicester pair of eyes will be watching and willing Matty Fryatt to score again. Rubicic out to Ramliak. Ramliak to win it! Croatia are into the final! Yes, tonight is the men's aerials finals here on Cyprus Mountain. That hill is where death defying courage meets acrobatic excellence. And sadly, we've run out of boxing puns, so all I'll say is that's the sport. <laughs> well, welcome to Wimbledon. This place is absolute tennis heaven. Every blade of grass in its place. Lots of British players, but not much British success. And back from the brink, world class motorsport returns to Donington Park. Hamid Hanaf is delivered to the far post, and it is for the flag stays down, and it's Singapore singing tonight. Sounds a bit like the job of a sports presenter, doesn't it? Really, Ross, who's travelled to Leicester. Good evening. Good evening. I'm in the best place possible right now. This is Abbey Park in Leicester, and we're here for the closing ceremony of the Special Olympics GB. It's already something of a party. All week, two and a half thousand athletes with learning disabilities have been competing hard and winning medals. We've shown you some of their stories, but if you haven't been able to catch it, here's a flavour of what's been happening. Some fantastic moments from the Special Olympics. Let's have a word now with one of the athletes we've been following all the way through, Lee Penfold from Hinckley in Leicestershire. Lee, how much have you enjoyed this week? It's been a great week, Ross. Uh, we had an opening ceremony last week. Now we're here at Abbey Park, closing ceremony with loads of um, supporters and our next door neighbours, the West Midlands. <laughs> now, you were playing in the final of the basketball today. Tell us how that went. It went very well. We had a bad first half. Went 10-2 down and then second half we had a great comeback one of the best fight backs of all time and also today i scored five baskets in the second half and you picked up a silver medal which is great i know what are your best memories of these games beating the west midlands twice <laughs> and also what's it done for the rest of the guys you've made friends and all sorts i've made friends with the 18 other regions and it's gave our team a massive lift Fantastic. Lee, finally, show us your medal. Hold it up for us. Dominic and Anne, this is for you in East Midlands. Terrific, Lee. Well done. Thanks very much indeed. More from the Special Olympics party in a few moments, but more of the day's sports news. Let's talk cricket because the knots pair of Graham Swan and Stuart Broad have been somewhat overshadowed today as England did a number on the Australians in the third Ashes test. It's time to take a look at what's going on in the world of sport, and Ross is here. Now, if you're a French sports fan, mm. I think you'd be either tearing your hair out or jumping for joy, because when it comes to rugby, great. Pretty good, yeah. Looks good. When it comes to football, nail-biting. Yeah. Absolutely nail-biting. This is to do with last night for France in the Euro 2012 qualifiers. They sneaked through just to make it into Euro 2012 at the very last. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. No real surprises to come out of the final round of group matches to see who will qualify for Euro 2012. Three quarters of the places for the tournament in Poland and Ukraine have now been filled. France go through, along with Greece and Denmark. They've all won the tournament in the last 20 years. Russia will also go through. They beat Andorra 6-0. Sweden's win over the Netherlands guarantees them the spot for being the best runner-up. So, as we were just mentioning, France left it a little bit late to make sure they topped Group D after a one-all draw with Bosnia-Herzegovina. Bosnia, who had to settle for the playoffs, took the lead with Manchester City striker Edin Dzeko scoring in style. France looked a little nervy until in the second half this happened. Sami Nasri tripped in the box. He stepped up to score the penalty that sent France through. Denmark also go through to the finals after beating Portugal 2-1 in what was effectively a shootout to decide who finished top of Group H. Denmark went ahead inside the first 15 minutes through Michael Krohn Deli and the 1992 champions doubled their lead midway through the second half when Nicholas Bentner finished off this flowing move. Portugal will now face a playoff to keep alive their hopes of being in Poland and Ukraine next year. Cristiano Ronaldo's spectacular free kick Nothing more than a consolation. Deserved better, didn't it? 
Now to tennis, and despite a number of big names pulling out of the Shanghai Masters, Chinese fans will get to see world number two Rafael Nadal and world number four Andy Murray in action on Wednesday. Murray really is the man of the moment, having beaten Nadal in the Japan Open recently to claim back-to-back -back titles. Murray plays Russia's Dmitry Tursunov. And you know when you're successful because people start making statues of you. Here's Murray unveiling one of himself in Shanghai. Beautifully sculpted hair, by the way. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nadal says he needs to improve his serve if he's to keep on beating the world's best players. That's the important thing. That's something that I have to do it for next year, for sure. And to be fair, Rafael Nadal has great hair as well. <laughs> <laughs> no statues of you, then? Uh, pff, we're not not, we're obviously time. not successful enough. Are you a scaredy cat? Uh, do I look like a... Yes, yes, yes I am. Yeah, 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 me too. Yeah. Because the reason I ask is we're talking about zombies, an outbreak of zombies, in fact.